28 minutes past seven. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, yes, we continue our focus on the security situation in the country. And we're joined now by uh, Mr. Mike Ejofo, who is the former director with the Department of State's Security Service. Morning and thank you for joining us from our studios in Abuja. Well, looking at the comments from the minister there, uh, talking about the comments that also came through from the governor of Adamawa State. One just, uh, let's start off perhaps from there, the role, the responsibility that we all need to play to ensure that we sort this challenge we've got on our hands out. Because yes, it says the uh, security forces are in Abuja, but unfortunately, as it is now, we also do read that burner women may join them, but it's gotten to that extent now. How are we handling this properly? What do you think we're doing that we should not? Well, uh, thank you, Timberley. Can you hear me? I'm lost. Uh, not quite clearly now. Looks like uh, uh, you must have lost that. We just need to try again and see if we can make out <coughs> what we're saying now. But the comments that uh, the Minister of Information made about the comments also that came from uh, the governor of Adamawa State, looking at the comments, those comments, well, yes, indeed, uh, the presidency is not exactly happy with that one. Well, I also heard some comments previously from the Borino State Governor, even though that's history now because uh, some things have since changed, maybe. But those comments that the governors are making, there seems to be some sort of disconnect here. What could that be for you? Because they are the chief security officers in those states. Do you sense some sort of frustration on their part here? Well, thank, thank you, Chamberlain. I, I wouldn't say it's an act of frustration, uh, it's just politics, and uh, it's quite unfortunate. I wouldn't want to use uh, very harsh words on the, the governor, because I do have respect for considered authority. But being a person in position of authority, he should also temper his uh, words, because uh, he is supposed to instill confidence and not fear in these people is leading. So uh, that statement is quite unfortunate because it's uh, capable of even throwing us into civil disturbance. Uh, those statements, to say the least, were unfounded and unsubstantiated that the federal government is carrying out genocide on Nigerians. That statement should be condemned by well many Nigerians. And uh, if you juxtapose this with uh, the statement made by the former president, uh, former military head of state, General Buhari, you see that those are the rules to be played by elder statesmen. We should not be playing politics with our security. We should concentrate and see how we can fight this scourge and bring it to bring it to to an end because it's distracting it's not helping us and uh, the the insurgents have not told nigerians exactly what they want so that's why all hands must be on deck i must use this uh, opportunity also to commend the governors who despite uh, you know the meeting was scheduled for yesterday and was postponed to today I want to commend them. The, the government should be a collective effort. The government, uh, the people, the governor should put joint hands with the federal government to ensure that peace reigns in our country. And I believe that the outcome of their meeting today will go a long way in solving our national crisis. You know, I, I think going from where uh, Chamberlain left off, uh, I'm also trying to look at what uh, Hamza has sent in here. He says, uh, well, uh, he, the governors are the security uh, chiefs of their states. Why can't we actually go out to verify his claim and see if there's any iota of truth in his allegation? Well, uh, Suleiman, I don't think there is 
any altar of truth. It doesn't require any investigation. If he had such information, he should have contacted Mr. President. He has said to Mr. President to discuss such issues because these are very sensitive issues that we should not politicize and play with. I still maintain that that statement is capable of throwing this country into a very serious crisis. Because uh, I was watching one of my friends yesterday on TV when he was talking about uh, uh, taking the position that Igbos are the people being targeted and that they should leave that place. Uh, you see, by the time we start interpreting and making uh, analysis of such statements, it's capable of uh, throwing us into serious confusion. Take, for instance, this was a retired Army, uh, uh, Navy general, chief of naval staff, an elder statesman, presently a governor. So he should think before he, he talks. I think it's, it's very unfortunate. I think the, the, the governors, the statement had come from a, a governor in that axis before that uh, Boko Haram is more equipped and more motivated. I, I believe they are politicizing this issue, and uh, it is not in the best interest of any, any of us. Well, I know you're not a spokesperson for the uh, DSS, but uh, the DSS specifically has always, uh, time and again, warned people against uh, such comments and statements. But uh, we, we've, uh, uh, well, not seen a stop to all of that. And uh, with this particular publication from the governor of uh, Adamawa State, well, what do you think, uh, well, the people should be doing uh, with regards to this. Because if you say someone who is from the Southeast is already saying that, uh, looks to him that the people from the Southeast are, are being targeted, how can we disabuse the minds of those who are already on that side of the divide, thinking that they are a target? Well, uh, you see, the issue remains that security is a collective responsibility of all Nigerians. And uh, we should not be taking position either left or right or say that uh, we are supporting this group or supporting the other group. The point remains that Nigerians must understand the situation and exercise patience. Terrorism generally is a, is a war that cannot be uh, fought easily and won. And Nigeria should come to face the reality that we should not wish, we should not just wish away this in by. It, it will be deceiving ourselves if we come and I uh, come down now, sit down and say that Boko Haram will be defeated, given a timeline. Uh, Ireland has fought it for over 26 years. Syria, there's war. Pakistan, there's war. All over the world, there are terrorist tendencies. Uh, the, why it's disturbing is that our local terrorist group has some international uh, affiliations, which is making it worrisome and disturbing for us. And to fight this terrorism in our area, you look at the terrain in which they operate. The terrain is very difficult. The, the mountainous area, the Sambisa Forest, for instance, is mountainous and it's, uh, uh, it's a difficult terrain. And I think we should, our people should come out to support government. And that's why I also want to commend uh, the, the civilian JTF. That's what is expected of Nigerians. It should not be looked at, the crisis should not be looked at as either Bornu, Yobe, or Adamawa problem, but a national problem. Is a national score that we must all fight and put, uh, put our differences apart and ensure that we fight this score and bring peace to Nigeria. How do you think these comments hamper the fight against terrorism? Say again. Did you, did you hear me, okay. Mr. Joffo? No, 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 I, I didn't, please. Did you hear me? Yeah, well, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Well, if you can hear me, I was asking, how do you think this comments hamper the fight against terrorism? Uh, well, you see, it's, uh, 
if I get that question correctly, how it hampers the fight against terrorism. You see, this statement alone is even capable of uh, emboldening the terrorists to go ahead and fight. And that is why most Nigerians should be wary of what they say, especially what's coming from my elders. There are certain statements that could be made and people will just uh, gloss over it. But coming from certain quarters, it is taken very seriously. For a governor of that uh, of the of the uh, of a state and another statesman to come out that federal government is carrying out genocide genocide against who between which ethnic groups and what ethnic groups other people other tribes other ethnic groups are staying in Adamawa so who is the target and who is being targeted so it's adversely going to affect the fight against terrorism uh, like I said the statement in my own opinion should be ignored by all women in Nigerians.